Okay. Mel time. Why did I say this? Mel time. It's 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 Mel time. Oh, she got the four. Okay. So we're just going salsa. We're just going. Yep. Okay. Watch his face. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Okay. Right. Yeah. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven. Hey, okay. you can really do so it. So this is essentially what unfolded, and. What people did is they cut up clips. I was going to show you the cut up stuff, but it doesn't pay because they looped music over it, which is what made it really funny. And we won't be able to play the music for copyright reasons. But essentially, people chopped it up and they said, Destiny's uncomfortable. You know, you, you, you shouldn't let your woman dance with another man. They freaked out. They zeroed in on his face and they were like, look at his face. It's like, what guy, what alpha guy would allow this to happen to have his wife dancing with another guy? So first of all, let me ask you, Deli, quick question. What is your, like, did, does it, did it bother you at all? Like if you were dating a girl, would you, like, would this at all even occur to you to, to make a big deal about this? Uh, I mean, it probably wouldn't bother me, but I just, I'm thinking from like Destiny's perspective, <clears throat> this is probably like something that doesn't bother him at well, all. Right. So <laughs> this is, and that's a great point. So what people have to remember, and we'll get to the conversation that unfolded between MLD, who's by the way, coming on Monday. Um, he's going to be live in studio. MLD and this girl, Mary, who I don't know, start to question Destiny about that on whatever podcast. We'll get to in a second. But my first thought is when I saw this, I was like, this is a guy who, I mean, he sends his wife out to sleep with other guys. Right. So like maybe a dance isn't that big of a deal to him. I think people who looked at this and got triggered by it, one, you're probably in a traditional relationship yourself, right? You're not in a relationship like theirs. He shares his wife with other men on the regular. That's part of their relationship. It's open relationship on two ways, on, on to both sides. So why would he care? If she was dancing with another, he did to him. I mean, and truthfully, his face to me just looks like he was looking through his stream. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I didn't really see, but it went viral. It, it became a meme that people talked about that was meant to distinguish between, you know, red pill and blue pill and alpha and beta. And this was not the moment to seize that in my view. And the reason I'm talking about it is because I think it's important to also like everybody has that trigger like reflex now, especially with social media. It's like your outrage meter is like at nine all the time. You're ready to just like go, right? You see something, you're like, oh, you know, it was blue hair. Let me, yeah, let's go. First of all, we don't know what their relationship is. For all we know, Abba is friends with both of them and they're all friends and this is, think about it. I, I mean, thought. so we don't know that. Secondly, there has to be some room, right? I mean, if you go to a wedding and this comes up on whatever podcast, you go to a wedding, you go to an event. I mean, there's times that I would, you know, my parents are married for 50 plus years. God love them. There's times I would see my mom dance with a mutual friend. You know, they're all, they're all in the circle together. So you don't know the context of their relationship. This isn't like Destiny sitting there, you know, Melina. Wow, I have a little piece of blueberry that just came out of my teeth. How disgusting for that to happen on air. This is live TV. I'm like, wow, I ate that little blueberry just resurfaced. You ever have that happen? Holy mother on live TV, no less. Anyway, I share it all with you. I have like a, you know, the TMI sometimes. I just, I tell you what's going on. So I apologize in advance. But again, think about it through the context of the prism of their relationship also. I mean, isn't it stupid to think the idea that he would be upset about this? Now, let's watch what unfolded with respect to this on whatever podcast, which told me two things. Number one, people weren't doing their research because they didn't dig into the relationship between Destiny and Melina enough to know that her dancing with somebody else is the least intimacy, you know, that he's seen go on with other men. I don't know if he watches it. That would be a good question for him, actually, Deli. Next time we have him, like, has he ever witnessed Melina flirt or be, you know, in public kind of engaging with someone who wasn't him? Like, how does that make him feel? Is there ever any instance where he sees her interactions with a guy that actually has made the cut and by the cut I mean gotten into the bedroom that is an interesting dynamic I would I would tend to guess that that would make him uncomfortable I'm not 100% sure but I think it would this clearly was not that let's watch the exchange that erupted by those on whatever podcast seeking they, they I'm telling you some of these people just want clips I'm not talking about UML day I'm talking about somebody else and we'll see who that is in just a second 2901 clip of you two that went kind of viral on Twitter a few days ago oh. where you started like 
ballroom dancing mm-hmm. with some guy in the background of a stream. What was the situation there, and who was that guy? <laughs> yeah, there's a guy on uh, YouTube called Abba from Abba and Preach. And I think he's trying <laughs> to steal my girl from me. <laughs> is he? No. He, so he dances. She's you got like a background. You looked already devastated. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, 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 I did not look devastated. When you guys are watching. No, I don't. When you guys are watching clips. That's just face, though. Okay, pause this for one second. Do, do we know who that girl Mary is that asked the question at all, Deli? Can no, you can no. you see if under her stream somewhere under there she can we can we figure out who this is? Uh, my guess is is this somebody who's uh, trying to be a conservative commentator or trying to make a career or trying to get a job at the Daily Wire? Just saying, I'm just curious because she does, an Instagram. does this all the time. I don't want you to click it from there though because then it's going to take us off the video. If you can maybe separately just see if you see her name, just if you if you happen to. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some independent research here on that, which is not the focus of today's show. But one thing I will say, which will be unpopular with the audience, I know you all love to hate Destiny, but I have to tell you, Destiny is, is very good at this. He's very good at media. He's somebody who, in the same way that Tucker Carlson is really likable and endearing and entertaining and media, Destiny is as well. And I, I can watch it. I disagree with him on, I would say, like 98% of things. And yet I've, I can sit and watch his, his delivery. It's very compelling. Um, he's very good at what he does, which is why a lot of people don't want to debate him. And just watch how this unfolds, this conversation with this girl who clearly is trying to make a moment happen. Okay, let's be honest. She's trying to catch him in a moment here, which is utterly ridiculous. But nonetheless, let's watch how it unfolds. Watching clips. There's three responses I can have. I can either like laugh about it, in which case you'll be like, oh my God, he's coping. Or I can just sit there and just watch because I'm just watching my chat and stream and be like, oh my God, he's secretly terrorized. Or I can be like, oh no, guys, like don't. And like joke him and be like, oh my God, he's like secretly coping. Like there's literally no response <laughs> I can have because you're projecting like all of your insecurities on the situation. So Melina, wants to, like, are you seeing that guy? Like, no, the, he's, he's no. it's Adam Preach from the YouTube channel. Wait, do you think that, wait, hold on. Do you think the dancing is fucking? Because in Mexico, there's, a lot, of, there's a lot of there's a lot of children out there dancing. I mean, maybe you should do something said. about it, you know? Oh yeah, careful. Uh, no, I was just saying the the reaction to the clip was obviously Yeah, I know, but strong, I don't understand so. why people are having a big reaction to well, I think they, it they were the also that and Destiny and looked yeah. in his, in his, listen, in his defense they were playing Hello Darkness my old friend like you know, show like maybe despair or something. Yeah, but it feels like really ridiculous. Yeah, it just feels cut. really ridiculous, yeah, just, right? Because you, I, I, you can I edit done, anything. Like, to my, make it look like I anything. did like twelve years of ballroom dancing when I was younger, so I'm like I was competing in that okay. sport. So if I meet someone that does some sort of dancing that mm-hmm. is with a partner. I can like dance oh. with them really well, and that's like what's the fun out of it, right? I but think she's saying like in a traditional mm-hmm. sense of things, it looks bad on him. But you guys don't have a traditional we really relationship. Fuck other people though. Why the fuck? <laughs> <are you? laughs> that's that's no, no, that's what I'm saying. You guys, you guys don't have a tra- like from a traditional but standpoint. From a, tra- also, hold on, hold on. from a traditional standpoint, it looks bad. But you guys are not traditional. I think that's what she's saying. It looks bad, but wait, not is it wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait. Even in a traditional it's aspect, not bad like you can go to weddings. Like sometimes other people dance with other people. Yeah. Have you guys ever danced? It's, like, it's not like, like they're like I know you're not like at a ballroom dancing I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay with, if I marry my wife, I'm not okay with her dancing with And that's like great. Your insecurities are yours to deal with. But it's I'm not insecurity. Like, oh, no, no, no. That's not insecurity. Time out, time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time it's not, a, it's not an insecurity. It's just a boundary I have. It's not insecurity. But, but it's not, but it's not, it's not just it's not a boundary. Insecurity. It's you it's saying that like in a respect. traditional relationship, this wouldn't be okay. Plenty of people dance with other people. It's not a huge <laughs> deal. Now, if they were like fucking grinding on each other or something, <laughs> that'd be different. But when they're going through like moves on like a ballroom dance thing, I don't think, I think that if you got a huge problem with that, I think that says more about so you. So wait, why, why is my boundary all of a sudden limited and li- labeled as an ba- insecurity? The problem wasn't your boundary. The problem was you said, well, in a traditional relationship, you made it sound like it was a boundary that everybody should have. No, 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 just no. me personally, I'd be like, okay, sure, I that's did fine. say just me personally. I say the you way said, she's said per- in a traditional the way she, the way they're perceiving you. But from and then I built on it saying, me okay, stop personally. there. So obviously MLD is coming out talking about boundaries, and I think the reason that some of the guys who are more red pill get defensive when you talk about boundaries is because it always seems like you know their boundary is somehow not okay. Society criticizes the boundary they place, but somebody else's boundary is just fine. If a feminist has a boundary or whatever it may be, so people's boundaries are their boundaries. And all he was really trying to say is in his relationship that would not be okay i still think though i mean i would a- i'm gonna ask him this when he comes on monday but it does depend on context right in other words would i be i'm in a very traditional marriage you know in the sense that it's monogamous like there's no you know flirting with other people we don't do any of that
us. It's just a marriage, right? As traditionally defined. So if my husband was dancing with some girl, that would be a huge issue for me, unless it was like a mutual friend, like my best friend, Lauren, is, you know, behind me dancing with my husband. That's totally fine. Like she's my sister. You know, we are, it's years and years. We know each other since the sixth grade. She's integrated into my whole family. That's different. So it's, I think that is the point, right? Is that just check your trigger, right? Check your, just know that these situations are complex and nuanced, right? And they have the most untraditional relationship on the planet. So the idea that Destiny should in some way be uncomfortable with his wife, again, dancing with another man when he is comfortable with her sleeping with another man, does that make sense to you? No. It also, I think, is an opportunity. Whenever you see this stuff, this is my takeaway, and then we'll move on. When you see this stuff, I think use it as an opportunity to figure out like how you would feel. And if the way that you, is that justified? So if you sit and say, I would be super jealous, you know, is it justified? Maybe it is. Maybe it is given your circumstance. Maybe it is depending upon who that other third person would be. Also just use it as an opportunity to realize that the internet thrives on us getting outraged 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And maybe that's not healthy, right? (laughs) Maybe that contribution by social media hasn't been so good for our mental well-being and for civilization at large. Just a thought. If you like the short clip and want to watch the full episode, click here. And if you want to connect with me one-on-one on Manect, you're going to click right here. Let's get to talking.